Ken Welk has a chronic condition in common with 50% of men his age. The medical solutions to his problem seemed invasive. So Ken asked for another opinion at the University of Kansas Health System. Five years, that's how long Ken Welk researched treatments for benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH. He knew one day he'd need to do something. He didn't know he'd find the help he needed just three hours away, or how easy the treatment would be. And actually this happened to me when I was in Ireland and Scotland, and go play golf and then drive from the golf course back to the hotel. And I said to the driver, you gotta pull over or I'm gonna pee my pants. Ran into this Irish pub to the back and did my business, got in the, to the vehicle and drove back to the hotel where I peed again. That's the way Ken Welk has been living his life, worrying about when the next need to go would hit and how close he'd be to a bathroom. That produces anxiety for sure. Ken is not alone. Half the men his age suffer BPH, an enlarged prostate gland that can lead to pain and difficulty urinating. Ken's case grew so severe, he needed treatment. He searched the internet for answers. I studied all the different ones and saw how invasive a lot of them are, the other procedures, and so I stumbled across PAE, the prosthetic artery embolization. Prosthetic artery embolization is done by an interventional radiologist who uses imaging guidance to inject small particles into the prostate to reduce blood flow which shrinks it. It's an outpatient procedure that doesn't require the patient to be under full anesthesia. The best part? Within hours, urinating returns to normal. And I actually went and saw a urologist like three or four years ago and asked him about this procedure. And he said, I don't know, I don't know anything about it. Ken tried to find a doctor in California where he and his wife lived six months out of the year, but he didn't have any luck. Then his friend told him about the care he'd received at the University of Kansas Health System. I primarily went off his recommendation that his health care that he received there, he said it was top notch. Ken went back to researching and that led him to surgeon Dr. Adam Alley. I seemed to care about me as an individual not as a procedure. Ken says it's been smooth sailing since the procedure, and he hopes others take pause and get a second opinion before agreeing to more painful, invasive options. Getting a second opinion by a different type of practitioner, i.e. an interventional radiologist who specializes in doing prostate artery embolization, that makes a lot of sense to me.